uh, at the time, I was a, a, a national co-coordinator of the KDP, the Union of Democratic Filipinos, um, which worked in the US and Canada, um, organizing among uh, Filipino in the Filipino community and also on international issues, especially around the Philippines. And I was also on the executive board of the Line of March. Um, so both of these organizations uh, participated in, in, in the rainbow, but I want to, you know, kind of draw a distinction uh, in terms of motivation. So uh, I think for KDP, um, we had always had a very strong uh, program of community organizing, especially around questions of race. Um, we did a lot of alliance building and um, what we call working class issues. Um, and uh, when the opportunity came up to um, work around the rainbow, we thought it was actually uh, uh, an important one uh, to locate ourselves in coalition uh, with other uh, like-minded um, uh, progressives. And uh, I, I think we, we certainly were also drawn into, um, uh, you know, kind of almost an exploratory experience in um, electoral work. Frankly, many of us uh, had little to no experience whatsoever in the electoral arena. Um, I did in high school, you know, as an idealistic, you know, uh, senior in high school, and I'd never registered to vote um, until Jesse ran. And I think that was the experience of a lot of people. Um, for Line of March, um, you know, we did look at this, I, I think, with a lot more, uh, you know, also with a, a lot of caution. And I don't think we, uh, you know, from, from the point of view of Line of March, threw ourselves into, um, this arena and this work may be as aggressively as uh, some other entities, um, but certainly for folks who are working on issues around the country, who are doing labor work, um, work around uh, uh, race and women, um, we saw a value, uh, you know, in, in a very similar way um, to uh, participating, you know, in, in the rainbow. And I, I have to, to say, I, I mentioned this in a in, in some of our earlier email exchange, I was also doing work. Um, my direct organizing was on immigration. And um, in 84, uh, Jesse went with us to a, a march at the, the San Diego border as a candidate. And uh, it was a, uh, an inspiring moment. And uh, for, uh, I think, immigrant communities, doing work and, and feeling very much in isolation, the standpoint that he took um, was really important. So even uh, in a setting where, you know, the organizing that we were doing was not going to itself necessarily engage in the electoral work, the coalition opportunity that it provided was key. We were really disappointed when we found at the first uh, convention that the charter actually mentioned the word citizens. Uh, and that this was going to be a, a, an organization very much tied into electoral work. And when we had understood it to be an organization that basically was going to build movement. So um, we were ready to do a massive walkout the next morning when we discovered that. Um, had conversations with some uh, uh, senior folks in the, in, in, the, in, in the campaign who told us, frankly, you folks don't matter. Um, but apparently, uh, um, there was some further discussion on that. The next morning, the charter was changed and the, the word citizen was taken out. And uh, it was in response, I think, to a, a lot of concerns raised by those of us who were throwing into the rainbow who were not citizens, but who saw this as an important uh, opportunity for alignment.